Hi, my name is Kelly and thank you for joining me. Today I'm going to be unboxing another button shy game called Acropolis. And this is by Stephen Aramini, Danny Devine, Danny Devine, Danny Devine, and Paul Kluka. Kluka? I should have just stuck with Stephen Aram. Aramini. I know how to pronounce his name. Uh, so this is Acropolis, which is a standalone Sprawlopolis, Sprawlopolis game. Uh, again, this is a button shy wallet game. Um, and let's just get going. So this is for one to four players, ages eight plus in 15 minutes. And this also um, has a uh, expansion, the seasons expansion. So we'll go look at that in just a second. So, take a quick look. Again, uh, if you know anything about button shy games, they're usually very small, very uh, compact, and I think there's 18 cards in their wallet games. Um, they do usually have one, maybe two, three expansions, so they try to do expansions for their games as well. Um, and their rule books are very tiny. <laughs> From clucking chickens to rumbling tractors, the sounds of a bustling farm are everywhere. It's up to your team of planners to turn this little farm into a flourishing ranching community. Uh, so there are 18 cards with what they call blocks and there's also scoring conditions. So basically what you're going to do is you have the 18 cards and on one side is, these are what they call their scoring conditions. Um, so they have from one through 18, and they're going to have different scoring conditions. So here's the one through nine. And then on the back side, they have what they call their blocks. And so each block is going to have a um, different theme. So the red is for orchards. The brown is for livestock. The um, yellow is for... Um... Shoot, what are the... <laughs> Fields? What do they call those? Cornfields. And then the purple are vineyards. And um, they're going to have roads through them. And then the livestock can also have either one pen or two pens. So that plays a role in some of the scoring cards. And all of them are just set up with different roads, different um, um, livestock. So the livestock are different. They have chickens, they have uh, pigs, and nothing on that one. Oh, and then the cows. And each card is going to have uh, the four different fields. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to shuffle all the cards together, and then you're going to grab three of the... Um, scoring conditions, so three cards, and then those cards are going to be the scoring conditions. I'm going to mess these all up now. <laughs> I'll go over some of the scoring conditions with you too. So let's just grab three. Oops. All right. So these are going to be the scoring conditions. So we have um, number eight for coops and loops. So two points for every chicken pen that's inside each completed road loop. And then number 16, them apples. So three points per orchard group with a different number of blocks than any other orchard group. And then you get bonus points. Um, and then uh, obviously this one has a different one. And then there's also, if you want to make the game a little bit harder, there's what they have these um, are called, I think the feed, feed rules. Um, let me see, feed fees. Um, and so that will add some difficulty to it. If I played that with the game that I just did last night, I would have lost terribly, but I did win my very first game. So, <laughs> and so the rest of these are, you ignore the backside and the rest of these cards are going to be ones that you play. So then you'll be dealt three cards and then you play one card each turn. And for a solo one, you're going to have just the three cards each time. And then as you place one down, you'll just pick another one from the draw pile. And what you want to do is you just want to make as many um, connections, I guess, to match what your scoring conditions are um, as possible. 
and then roads are actually minus one point. So for every row that you have um, that's on there, um, it will lose you one point. So that's where I lost, um, I lost 14 points, I think, in my game. Um, and then my scoring card, so what you do to, to know if you won the game or not, you actually add up your three card numbers. This one is a really high number. Um, Sixteen, ten, twenty, thirty-six. So this is forty-two points. That was hard. That was some math right there. Um, so you actually have to get forty-two points to win your game. Uh, the cards that I had were for twenty-five points, and I it got exactly twenty-five points. Um, this one sounds really hard. <laughs> so I'd probably lose. Um, yeah. So there you go. So every card just has um, their blocks and then a scoring condition. And let's go over this. So here's your um, little rule book. So again, it goes over just an example of how to set it up. It tells you what the different blocks are. And then it goes over pens, roads, how you build your map, placement rules. So pretty much the only illegal one is you can't tuck a card underneath an existing card. You can place it on top and you can um, place on certain parts of it. So if you wanted to, you could maybe do this and then you could even do that. And um, let's say you change your mind and now you want it to look like that. And then pretty much the illegal one that you can't do is you can't tuck it under an existing card and you can't go corner to corner. So that wouldn't be legal. And, and then it talks about, so this is a one to four player game. So table talk, basically you want, it, it's a cooperative game. So you can talk, discuss your placement with your fellow players and then final score. So you're going to score one point per block in your largest group of each zone. So if you had, let's say the two cornfields together and maybe that was the most you had, you would score two points for the cornfields. And then you would do the same for um, the livestock, the vineyards and the orchards. Uh, again, you're going to subtract one point for each road you have and each road, uh, is a completed road. So if you had, let's say one that dead end. So this one, uh, you can't actually do that. They have to be horizontal. So this one, so this one right now, even though it's on two cards, uh, this would be considered one road. And this is a second road since it dead ends into here. Uh, if you somehow connected these roads, this road together, that would actually turn into one road instead of two. So that's where I struggled last night is connecting my roads. So I had a lot of roads that were just, you know, one little piece on one card, um, that dead end and didn't uh, connect to anything else. And, and then you also score, um, your points from your scoring conditions. So you add that all together, subtract out the roads, and that's your score. Um, solo play, again, it's pretty similar, except you just um, have your three cards and um, you just play until you run out of cards. And then again, feed fees. So if you wanted to make it more challenging, you can play with that. Um, the three cards that I had last night, actually all three had feed fees on it. Uh, so I had thought about I was going to score it to see if I would have won still. I would not have. So <laughs> it definitely does make it a harder game. So pretty straightforward. And then you have your seasons. So this is just a, it's a lot of glare. So this is just a four card, uh, four card gust shapes Agropolis. That sounds interesting. I don't understand that, but it's called seasons. So the crops are growing, but the winds are blowing. Manage both to the best of your abilities. So shuffle the seasons card, draw one and add it to your three scoring conditions. Then at the end of setup and before taking the first turn, shuffle the three remaining seasons cards, weather side up into the deck. And then end of the game, use all four scoring condition cards. 
All right, so instead of the three condition cards, it looks like you're gonna add a fourth one to it. And so these are the weather. So you have spring, summer, autumn, and winter. Um, and they have the clouds on the back, so you know they're from that, the expansion. So you may only play cards below your southernmost weather card. Every last drop. Do not score your largest vineyard group if you covered any vineyard blocks this game. There are 18 total vineyard blocks. Interesting. Okay. So it sounds like, so you would have this. So now you have four cards, scoring cards. This looks like... Um, they have slightly different ones. So this one sounds negative. So you're not scoring your largest vineyard group if you covered any vineyard blocks. Um, this one's slightly more positive. Double the points earned for your largest cornfield group, but you do not store you, you do not score your orchard, vineyard, or livestock groups. So changes it up slightly. And so based off of this scoring card, it sounds like if I have my blocks laid out in whatever pattern. And then let's say, um, let's say this is the next one I drew. So I have to be careful because now it's saying based off of my winter scoring card, you may only play cards below your southernmost weather card. So if I put it down here, that means I wouldn't be able to build up here anymore. Um, I could only build down here. So I'd probably have to play it so that if it put it up here, now, obviously, I'm not going to be able to complete this loop at all or this road, so it's going to count as one road, but now I can play any cards to the south of that one. So adds a little bit more thinking into it, um, which is surprisingly thinky game already, um, it, but it's really fun. Um, I think my first game with reading the rules was like 24 minutes, and so it is about a 15-minute game, um, so this might bump up you know, add a few more minutes to it. Um, but yeah, that is about it. So that is Acropolis in a nutshell. <laughs> um, it's a really fun game. I just played my first game last night and then I was gonna record it first, unboxing, um, and then play my game. But I actually wanted to, I've been thinking about um, playing this game and I currently have a um, challenge on my board game stats where I am playing um, at least 10 new to me games this year and then I want to get through some of my games because I have a lot of games that I haven't played so these wallet game um, these wallet games are just they're so quick and easy to set up very rules light still a little bit thinky though um, and yeah it was just a fun little game I got it out spent like 20 minutes and um, got a little game in which it was it was a lot of fun um, and I won which is even better <laughs> so thank you for joining me today I hope you enjoyed this unboxing with a little bit of information on how to actually play the game uh, if you like this video please go ahead and hit, a, hit the little like button and leave me a comment let me know if you've played any of the button shy games and subscribe to my channel if you want to be notified anytime I upload a new video thank you bye Record any of it?